So not only have I put a whole gallon of Marvel Mystery Oil in the gas tank here, I've also put a whole gallon of Lucas Upper Cylinder Lubricant in the gas tank of the Mustang here. And well, all is good. Mustang's running fantastic. So a few suggestions have come through the Lucas video and a lot of people suggest it. Not only do I put other things in here like seafoam, Berryman's, and all these other crazy things, a lot of people suggested that I put diesel in the gas tank. And I'm like, wow, why would I want to put diesel? The car runs on gasoline. So I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it. Let's go and put diesel in the gas tank here and see what happens. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead, put diesel in the gas tank of my Mustang. And we're going to see what happens. Let's have some fun on Cars Create. Starting it up. So what really made me want to do this is just recently I saw a bunch of videos on YouTube of these high performance diesel trucks. I mean, they're making like two, three thousand horsepower. And if that isn't impressive enough, it's the torque. They're making like four thousand pound feet of torque. And I'm like, oh my goodness. No gasoline car does that. It doesn't seem any other combustion engine that uses any different fuel gets that kind of torque so i'm like it must be the diesel right if i could put diesel in my car and it runs and all that extra torque just imagine i mean this ecoboost engine is torquey enough but goodness gracious if i can double my torque output and have like eight nine hundred pound feet of torque out of my 2.3 liter man i could really show up all those v8 guys who only care about torque Oh, this is gonna be great. So I'm gonna be going down the street to a gas station and filling up some diesel so we can see what happens. Okay, so I right down the street, almost at the gas station. Man, I mean, I'm kind of excited. Also, a little bit worried. Who knows, what's gonna happen? For me, I think I'm more or less worried about something happening to the engine due to all that extra torque. I don't know how much these can take. You know, some people say these EcoBoost engines take four or 500 horsepower, but no one says torque. I mean, what if it's 400 horsepower and, and 800 torque or 500 horsepower and 1500 torque? I don't know, they never say. So I guess we're gonna have to find out. But I tell you, as it is, the car is running so great right now after all of that Lucas, all of that Marvel's Mystery Oil, it is running fantastic. You know, just the other day, I had this older guy pull up next to me at a red light in his, uh, I don't know, I guess it was like a, a, a early 70s Chevelle SS. Uh, it said 396 on the side. It sounded pretty good, but I tell you what, once that light turned green, he had no chance. I had to lay the smack down on him with the EcoBoost. But he was cool about it though. By the time we got to the next light, you know, he, he gave the thumbs up. He's like, what is in that thing? I said, it's an EcoBoost. He said, wow, they're getting pretty quick. I should have had the nitrous engaged. I'm like, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Now, hopefully if all goes well, once I get this diesel in the tank, he's gonna need a little bit more nitrous if he runs into me again, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to put diesel on his Chevelle. Right, we're pulling into the gas station right now. Let's see, we got an open pump. Sure do. Ah, uh, what's the price of diesel today? Uh, credit 407. Okay, it's not too bad. Now for some good performance fuel, right? Yeah, I think nitromethane's a lot more per gallon. Let's go ahead and do this. even gonna yeah I know these nozzles are a lot bigger okay it fits I'm just gonna have to hold it here like that but and press our diesel now, I'm only putting a few gallons in I ain't putting a whole lot I don't think I'm gonna need it hey that's your crazy kids with you grab good to grow for a smooth ride with hundreds of characters in a self brew spout we're sure to entertain and make your trip better. Find good to grow inside near the cooler door. Now check out this week's top trending music videos on Loop TV. Yeah. 
<laughs> nope. All right, so now we got diesel in the tank. People were giving me some funny looks. I don't know why. I guess they don't understand what all the power you're gonna get out of diesel is. All right, so we're just getting out on the road now after filling up with some diesel. Man, let's see what kind of power we get. Oh, I just can't wait to feel that torque. All right, getting out on the road right now. Uh, just driving normally, just a second. You know, just let everything kind of mix in. Running pretty good. Oh, wow. Now I need to feel that torque. I want to punch it and see what happens. Uh-oh. Um, oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Um, I need to pull over and, and look at it and see what's going on here. Oh, well, um, I mean, I'm right around the corner from home. Uh, thankfully, I didn't go too far away. I think I can get it home. I'm gonna try to limp it home. Oh, that's not good, man. That's not good. Oh, it is idling really bad. Oh God, no, that ain't good. Oh, that exhaust sounded really bad. Oh, wow. Oh man, um, that's, that's not good at all. Um, I think I need to, oh my God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, is that oil? Oh no. Oh my God, it's everywhere. I heard a knock, but I didn't think something was really that wrong. God, I guess it didn't handle the torque after all. I mean, built for tough, I really thought it would handle it. I don't think it's good no more. I think that's the last time I run diesel in this car. Oh my God. I'm not sure what to do now. I don't know what to do next. I should have pumped less. I shouldn't have pumped that much diesel. It's too much torque. Couldn't handle it. Crap. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Mm -hmm. 